wanted to give you a little uh, rundown on the, the No BS Canine Extreme Junior Trap. So, I think I said this in one of the previous videos, but what, what I want to do um, is kind of bring information out or add some information to what's out there on um, on some things that when I was looking at them I couldn't find a lot of information on. So this is one of those things, the No BS Lures, um, Kendall Obermeyer, No BS Lures, he's got a Facebook page and a website. Uh, he makes really, 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 really heavy duty traps. I mean really heavy duty. And uh, they've got a coating on them. So they come, or you can get them non-coated too, but they, they come with a coating on them. It's really tough, really good. Um, really been impressed with it so far. So I caught a couple coons in this trap this year, and you can see there's just no, I mean, it looks like it's brand new. So that coating has held up really well so far. Uh, this is the Junior. So whenever I was looking at these, uh, probably last November, early season, um, you know, there was there was quite a bit of information on the, uh, on the canine extreme there wasn't a lot of information on the junior so this is a little bit smaller so i think that the, the extreme is about a size three trap this is about a size two trap um, so you can see here that it's very similar in size to an mb550 uh, a little bit a little bit bigger than a bridger number two you know just a little bit larger than that so that gives you an idea of the size that you're talking about uh, again, very heavy duty trap. You've got uh, nut and bolt connections for your jaws. It's a Bridger style dogless um, system. And he uses a, a welded in piece uh, on the jaw itself to actually set the, the uh, trap hand slightly below the jaw. So uh, one thing that's different that you might think is a little bit funky when you first get them, like I did, um, on a two coil trap, if you order these two coiled, your coils are going to be on the front. Okay, when you get them. And that's different than the traditional, you know, on a two coil trap, traditionally they're going to be on the back. So if you've only got two coils on a trap, usually they're on the back. When you get these, they're going to be on the front. And uh, Kendall explained uh, in a Facebook post, I think, that the reason he did that is it made leveling the jaws easier if you only had it in a two coil configuration. So, uh, I had them two coiled. I ran them two coiled. Uh, they worked fine, but they were a little bit slow, to be honest with you. You know, these jaws are pretty heavy, and uh, especially if you got these are inside lambs. If you got inside and outside lambs, uh, I think you definitely want to go with the four coil. So, after I pulled them out of the ground this year, you know, I thought uh, while I was messing with them, you know, they are a little bit slow. I went ahead and bought the springs from Kendall and installed them, and now, you know, I'm real happy with them. Uh, the only other thing that I will say about these traps, uh, they're, I'm really, really happy with them. I intend to buy more, um, but there was a little bit of an issue, you know, again, late last year when I bought them, it kind of came up on, on some Facebook posts and things too, that the pan tension was really high. And, and I, I agree, that was a problem, I think, um, with them for a while. I don't know if it's the coating or exactly what it was, but... You know, on this Sullivan's trap pan tester, I typically try to set my trap uh, pan tension between three and four. So there's one, two, three. So I want to get to there, and I don't really want to get all the way to bottomed out. I can be a little bit over four. I'm not too concerned about that. But I want it to be between three and bottomed out, basically, which I think bottomed out is probably about four and a half pounds. So that's where I'm trying to be um, whenever I'm setting my pan tension. These things, I was bottoming this thing out and then pushing very hard um, in addition to it already being bottomed out to make the trap fire. And I thought that was probably, you know, too much. I'm, I'm guessing it was somewhere in the 8 to 9 pound range. And, uh, and there were some people online, I think, that actually went to the trouble of, of figuring out, you know, had a different system uh, where they could see the poundage. And they, they determined that it was, you know, 8, 9, 10 pounds plus uh, to make them fire. So, you know, there were some, some complaints, I guess. And uh, Kendall made a video and he said bowstring wax is the answer. So, uh, if you're, you know, I'm a bow hunter, so I, I had some here, so it was really easy for me. But if you're not a bow hunter, um, you know, just go online and look up bowstring wax. It it's just comes in a round tube and it's a wax. Um, real simple. I applied some back here on the dog, I applied some up here. Uh, where the dog interfaces with that jaw, with that 
portion that's welded onto the jaw. I set the trap and fired it probably three or four times, and then I tested it again. And I'll show you now uh, with the trap pan tester that it absolutely fixed it, solved the problem, and uh, this thing should be right around four pounds. So there's one, two, three just under four pounds is where that thing fired. So I'm real happy with paying attention now. Um, I'll set this again and show you the pan travel is very, very small. It's a very small amount of pan travel with these things, which I like as well. And you can see how that pan sits down below the jaw. And uh, it's kind of hard to see here probably. Yeah, I'll put it like this so you can see it a little bit, but very little pan uh, travel before that trap fire. So, uh, the OBS K9 Extreme Junior, again, you know, there's a lot of information out there on the uh, full-size K9 Extreme. And I think, you know, Kendall's website, uh, he, he put a lot more information out on the Junior this season, or, or recently, because he, he used this trap quite a bit, I think, this season. Uh, and caught a whole bunch of critters in it, and there's pictures of it, and, and it works really well. But, um, but anyway, when I, whenever I bought these, there wasn't a lot of information on them. I still haven't seen a lot of videos about them, so I just wanted to put this out there so in case somebody was thinking about buying these. Um, you know, gives you a little bit more information to go on before you go out and buy something. So, thanks.